we're so proud of what we've achieved with the MP412C. We're just a few weeks away from our first customers taking delivery of the car. And we're also just a couple of weeks away from moving our unique production system to the brand new 40 million pound McLaren production center. Today, we can also confirm that we've passed a major milestone in our road car project. We have broken through 1 million kilometers of development mileage with our ongoing 12C testing in all corners of the world. With all of this underway, we also chose to develop a great GT race car as well. Why? Because we are McLaren and we race. Every McLaren rotor race car for the past 30 years has been built around a carbon chassis. Formula One know-how, processes, and technology helped us design the 12C road car. Now all of its strength, balance, and performance have gone into a game-changing GT3 car. I hope you'll agree with me when you see it that the GT3 looks terrific. Maybe it even has a couple of ideas for some of our future McLaren road cars, but that's something we can leave for another press conference in the future. It's as fast as a Veyron. It's actually even as fast as a, as a McLaren F1. It handles better, it's much easier to drive. McLaren have done a, an outstanding job of, of uh, designing this car, uh, but they've also taken key elements of the car and gone to outside partners to help them develop the car. And that's exactly what we've done with the GT project. So very much taken our, our key strengths of, of what McLaren have to, have to offer and what we have to offer and combined them to, to create this car. And the three main areas you know, that go into this, this great looking and, and cost effective race car are the, the cost of ownership of it, the, the part supply that we will supply and also the, the limited production. So first of all, the price of the car will be £310,000. Now that's uh, cost for a carbon chassis race car. And also it's going to be complete. It's not, not going to be any hidden extras in there. The car will be absolutely ready to race. And also, we really want this car to be the cheapest car to run on the grid, if possible. We want it to, to give this car to the best teams out there, to the people that are winning races, doing a really good job with the car, and keep the residual values of the car as high as possible. McLaren Racing and McLaren Automotive integrated to develop the 12C road car. If you look at the fundamental operations of the road car and GT car businesses, there are many other parallels. The 12C road car is more innovative, it's faster, it's cleaner, it's more comfortable, yet less expensive and more exclusive than its nearest rival. We fully intend to reproduce that anticipated demand and value in our GT3 project. 2012 will see us build 20 cars for the European GT3 racing series. We've had many successes outside Formula One, in America, in France, in Japan, and there's no reason while we can't repeat these successes in sports cars after 2012. So the GT3 car is just a start. It's the first car from McLaren GT, a new company formed between McLaren and CRS Racing. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, can I ask Andrew, Chris, Oliver and Avero to join Anthony and myself uh, at the new MP4 12C GT3. I am very proud actually, uh, I'm, I'm proud of the cars that we see on the stage, I'm very proud of the team behind them both and uh, many people are responsible for both cars, you know the vehicle dynamics department here in Woking that were responsible really for the simulation and development of the handling characteristics of the road car were heavily involved in the race car and, and that, that's great, I, I, I really do enjoy the fact that we have brought the whole group together in this project, so McLaren Racing, the automotive division and our new partners at CRS have worked brilliantly together and it really is um, you know, it's a great example of a, of a successful joint venture. It's a beautiful looking race car and I particularly appreciate the uh, orange, the McLaren orange being a Kiwi. I kind of recognise the uh, heritage with Bruce McLaren. The technology that goes into a car like this and McLaren's heritage, I think it could do very well.